go. Into the void anime. Joey Bra. Ah. Back with another Vin Lin Saga reaction. This time we got season two, episode 17, The Road Home. Who's going home? Oh. Wait, who's Kettle. going home? Oh. Oh, true. Oh, huh? true. no. Yes, yes. I'm in danger. Um, last episode, a very, 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 very good one. Snake versus Thorfinn. That's basically what it's all concluded to. We got some beautiful imagery of Thorfinn kind of uh, hearing the inner monologue of, uh, of what Askeladd was, was saying. Are you going to, you know, are you going to break your... back? Yeah, you're going to break your pacifism just to protect others? It's kind of worth it. You are protecting others. This is just this mental struggle Thorfinn's going through. And yeah, like you could do both at the same time, you know? I mean, yeah. One isn't like exclusively good. Exactly, man. It's a hard middle ground. But Thorfinn, yeah. Thorfinn's just trying to run this non-violent life, you know? So it is this struggle he has to go through. Yeah. Um, but at the end, yeah, he, like, he goes in his famous... Double dagger stance. Oh, yeah. He's ready to go. We get the old image of Thorfinn. He doubled down with the double dagger <laughs> stance. <laughs> like that's a wrestling move. Double down. Well, it is a KFC sandwich, the double down, dude. Everybody. Is that the one that you got for go, the. Yeah, for the free beta code for Diablo. Yes. Um, that was so gross. It was disgusting. But it was kind of good at the same time. <laughs> uh, you you know, felt disgusting. I felt disgusting. But it was okay. But it was kind of okay. Um, off subject, though, <laughs> it was a great episode. It hit home. Whenever we see Askeladd, can't help but just get fucking emotional here. Snake is pissed. The old man's talking to um, to Snake, just being like, you know, I'm going to give you my land, put down your sword, trying to give him the talk of uh, a peaceful life. And Snake just feels like he has to avenge his men that were killed. And that's it, dude. That's where we're at. Let's just hop into it. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Season 2, Episode 17. Oh, and Snake had a different sword. The road different style. He didn't mention it. It's from... Uh, somebody in the comments went through just like uh, where it was. Yeah, like... Arabian? Yeah, it was something. Yeah. Shit. It's going right into it. Damn, than anyone he's ever fought before. Did he just kick him? I think he did. And sent himself flying? Yeah. It was like a kick dodge. Oh, oh damn. Dang. Oh god. <laughs> Empathy. <laughs> Empathy. I know, even while fighting him. Jeez, dude, Thorfinn is just. No weapon. <sighs> Easy. Sweep the leg! Just sweep. They're probably both, yeah, yeah they're, they're both, both thinking just... the same thing. Oh, shit. God. Fucking God, hell. man. Oof. Oh, you were too busy. Too busy anticipating those fucking jabs. Oh, fuck. That's true. Oh, no. You got the right position. Oh, no. <sighs> the old man. I know. Oh, 
Yeah, that explains that. All that for nothing. Oh wait, that was already half. That was short. Yeah. It's a short half. No. Nope. He was trying to save a life. He's not gonna... Oh shit. Oh, see, that's what I thought was gonna happen when he first had his back to the... Trailer. Don't underestimate this guy, man. He's been through so much. He's. God damn. Thorfinn's gonna save him, huh? We're not. Fuck. He's so calm now. He did. He's just fucking going through it. Is that like pre death hallucinations? all him, huh? Man, his eyes before.
Ugh. I'm gonna need a minute. <laughs> the hell? God damn. You wanna watch the ED? Nah, I'd probably just make it sadder. Yeah. <sighs> that was rough. I feel like the, like, oh god, I can't talk. When characters, every single time, man, it's like the quickest way to get me, cry, get me to cry. When characters are dying and they're hallucinating. Yeah. Yeah. That's rough. Because it's pretty real. Uh, yeah, I don't... <clears throat> I don't recall that hitting as hard in the <laughs> manga, for sure. I think they added a lot of, uh, of Gardar stuff to that. I'm pretty positive. Uh, they've been adding a lot of stuff to the anime. I want to say a lot of those flashes we, we did not get in the manga. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that hit quite as hard. For sure. That was, uh, that was, 
that was rough. That was one of those episodes that kind of like fucks with you for the rest of the day. You know when you wake up from like a bad dream <laughs> and your this day is in is just off a yeah. little bit. That's what that episode was. Hey, babe. <sighs> yeah. What the quite the send off for Gardar, man, for real. That was like just fifteen minutes of us really feeling for the whole family really. Um Gardar, obviously, but even their son Arnheed. It's like, uh yeah, everything is so fucked. Fucked. Yeah, because, so fucked. yeah, it's like Thorfinn said, it's like, damn, like Yeah, at this point though, everything is like you are getting some punishment of some sort, so why not just like have one last nice ride together? You obviously see Gardar's losing tons of blood, he's gonna he's gonna pass away at any moment, so Yeah, like what more punishment can you get? Right? We've already been fighting Snake, we're helped the slave escape, killed five guys. I'm glad he got a peaceful, right? Well, not kind of death. <sighs> yeah, it was, man. I'm glad he got a peaceful <laughs> send off. Yeah, at least with Arn, he like, man, it's it is sad though, because a lot of the times I feel like on <clears throat> death send offs and stuff, you'll get mainly like ninety nine percent of it is good like moments in your life and mm-hmm. this, but his was mixed with like a lot of sorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, man, even him, like, realizing his maybe biggest mistake probably in life ever, yeah. you know, wanting to, what was it that they found? Um, iron? iron. Or, yeah, iron first. Realizing that that was the moment that kind of changed everything and the, the selfishness or just... Greed. Greed. And realizing that there on your freaking, well, I'm sure he's realized, he's had a lot of years to realize it, but... Seeing that on your deathbed, though, like, when you're when you're going, it's, it's very sad. I like the fact that she never told him that their son was dead. And he kind of just got to be with him in the end. Yeah. Not even thinking or being sad that he died. No, it's just like, at least, yeah, I'm home Just now. reunited, and that's all that matters. It's so crazy, like, thinking about just, like, what happens when you die, you know? Yeah. Yeah, as, uh, yeah. It's, it's probably one of the most, uh, I don't know, one of the <sighs> most curious things that in the human mind, you know, is like what what really goes on as you're passing away or the second you do. Or... It's so messed up because you know that when people are on their way out, they hallucinate. Mm-hmm. And, like, that's what makes it so much worse because, like, me and you have both experienced that where they're, like, it's kind of scary. Yeah. Yeah, no. Maybe that's why that's why it does hit, like, when that shit happens because when you've seen it, like, in real life, it's like, damn. Yeah. That is, that is how it goes. Yes. And, and, yeah, like, regardless of what you believe, it is, like, yeah, either he's seeing that... <clears throat> While his brain is shutting down, or he just gets to live in this nice uh, paradise now that he's passed on with his kid. It's like, either one is, uh, just depends what you believe and and how you want to see it. But it's a nice wrap-up for him and a nice close. Yeah. At least it is a peaceful send-off. Man. Yeah. (sighs) For sure. For sure. I did not get that upset. Bummer of a (laughs) set. There's no way. There's just no way I got this upset. I um, I think mean, I would have remembered it a lot more. Yeah, I think so. Um, the beginning of the episode, I've been trying to find a segue to uh, get back to talking about the beginning of the episode. Um, when Snake and Thorfinn are fighting, they kind of... Snake is acknowledging that this man is... You know, he must have been around some monsters. Yeah. He must have been through some really bad shit. Mm -hmm. And he probably only knows that he's a good fighter because he's gone through 
you know, all this shit and been around monsters because, like, I mean, real recognizes real, yeah. you know? Yeah, he, he either followed the same kind of path that Thorfinn did. He said he's a warrior of <clears throat> Mick... Mi- Micklegard. Micklegard. Maybe he got caught up the same way that Thorfinn got caught up. That's true. Yeah, because, like, he he says, um, yeah, both of them uh, are, like, not underestimating each other, but both of them do realize that, yeah, like you said, like, you're not just going to be a farm um, security guard with your skill set, mm-hmm. right? So... Yeah, well, but that's the thing. Like, what made Snake want to come over here? What made Snake um, want to obviously settle down, kind of like Thorfinn has? Um, maybe not want to do such crazy, like, pillaging and yeah. war. Obviously uh, doesn't want that, or didn't want that at, at one point mm-hmm. where he is okay with being, um, you know, on farmland. Farmland security, yeah. Um, but he said, yeah. he, he did say that him and all his other people have done really bad things and that's why they can't go by their actual names. Yeah. So I'm wondering. Like what the fuck's he actually done? Like what? If, you know, he has done really bad things or if it's kind of like bad in the sense that Thorfinn is bad. You know, like he just got caught in the way of doing things. It's for survival. That, yeah, that most men did at that time. Yeah, I'm sure, um, yeah. Or if he was like, <clears throat> maybe he killed someone very important. Yeah. Or he did other bad things. He does have this like warrior mentality and like Gardar does have to pay the price for this. He obviously cared about his crew. But like even at the end when he was like looking at him. Um, I feel like you see a little empathy in his eyes, you know, like, I think he's looking at Gardar and his eyes just soften for a little bit before mm-hmm. the killing blow or the attempted killing blow. Like it, at that point, it was kind of just pride that yeah. was driving him to I think that was just revenge. the way, yeah. Like everybody was telling him all this stuff, like the old man, I'll give you this, we'll make up, we'll make retribution for anything, just don't do it. And, uh. Probably just, yeah, from all the shit he's been through, probably lost a lot of people and didn't want to lose people on a, a farm. You know, maybe the farm mm-hmm. was a safe place to not have casualties. And uh, and here we go. We lost five guys, so. I want a snake backstory. I want to know how he got here and why he doesn't want to live the life that he used to. I would really like to know. If he's alive still. That's true, huh? He did get just absolutely choked out. Um, uh, fuck. You are right. You are correct there. Hopefully he's just, um, unconscious? Yeah. Hope- yeah, hopefully, like, Thorfinn was easing the pool a little bit. Yeah. And, uh... I don't and, imagine uh, he would die very easily, though. Exactly. But, yeah. At the end, of- and at the end, even worse news, yeah, it seems like either the search party that was going after Anar is coming back, or somebody's riding up on Arnheed, so... Yeah. what's going to happen to our crew for going along with this? Huh? People keep saying in the comments that it's about to get really good, and I'm... It's been fucking good, but... It's been really good yeah. in a different sense than it that it was good in the first season. Yeah. Yeah, and it is... I mean, uh, yeah, it's hard to say that it's not going to get better because we do have Canute coming, we do yeah. have Kettle coming. we got to see what they do to us because of that. It is very much the climax now, but I always appreciated this little Arnheed guard our uh, like middle arc mm-hmm. it really does uh just kind of put the nail in the coffin for how quickly your lives could have been uprooted in this time yeah you know just yeah. how in the blink when you make one bad decision and you're a slave i uh villain saga is like it's so it's such a hard to describe show to someone like if you were trying to get someone to that didn't watch anime into an anime I feel like it this would be like for someone who like watched the Game of Thrones yeah I feel like this would be a good way to get someone into anime I think so too um, but it's so it would be so hard to describe honestly because the first season is so 
um, I don't want to say entertaining because obviously that's yeah. It's um, what would it be like? It's not stimulating either, but it's just a lot more action oriented. Yeah, right? it's so yeah. it's so well made that you don't really like. I don't know. They do anger really well mm-hmm. and guilt really well. And uh, I just feel like it's, I could never say I liked one season more than the other because I love them both, but for totally <laughs> different reasons. Yeah, I, I love, like, the psychological <laughs> parts of season two because it's just, like, it's so, I, I guess, mentally stimulating for yeah. me that I just, like, I love psychology. I love... Getting down to the bottom of why you feel anger, why you feel guilt, why you feel joy, why you yeah. feel pain. Like, I love that. And I feel like we're just getting it all this season. We yeah. got, I got the the primal need <laughs> to, like, watch men just fucking tear each other apart, yeah. you know? While also, like, looking inside. Yeah, this season. So this season. This season, yeah. I think I'm really going to enjoy the... Knowing what's coming, Canute. Uh huh. Yeah. Leaf. Oh yeah. I'm really, really curious as to how Thorfinn is going to handle both, because they both know two totally different people. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be like a a, tr- a first meeting, all over again. And neither of them, neither, because <sighs> Leaf knows. This, like, total different version of Thorfinn. Canute knows this total different version of Thorfinn. And he is no longer that person. Yeah, Either of those know. people that Leaf or Canute knows. Can you imagine Thorkel coming through? Well, you <laughs> already know. You already know. You've already read the manga. But, like... No, yeah, no. You can you imagine, like, how... Because he kind of... He got to run for his money. Oh, yeah. No, that was a with great, Thorfinn. You know, that great was, fight. You yeah. Know, so, knowing how Thorkel gets so disappointed when someone disappoints him with being a shitty fighter, yeah, I wonder what he would, how he would react to how Thorfinn is now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I yeah. feel like I'm, I could talk about this forever. But no, yeah, for sure. I think, and the the cool, the great part about it is that Vinland has not even let me down post this arc at all. I think the next season is going to be just on par with the other two. So, is it over? It's not. We are approaching very really? much the end. We are very much approaching hmm. the end. But we're like on that the last That makes me arc. happy. Yeah. I think it would probably be like next season. It'd probably be like two seasons, I think. It'd be next season would be like the next big arc. And the last season would be like this current arc that we're on. I can't imagine doing much more than this season. Like if it ended after this season, I, I'm sure I would be fine. Next season's really You cool. know, he's just like yeah. this like... He's just this farmer now, you know, living oh, yeah. a simple life. Yeah. Yeah. All right, bye. All right. I think that's it. That one devastated us, man. This is uh, truly one to remember. And I, I believe this is one that the anime probably it just really did up more than the manga even even did. But uh, let me know if I'm wrong. I just don't remember a lot of that Gardar stuff. That shit hit pretty hard. Um, yeah, that's it for this week, though. Uh, thank you guys as always for dropping by. Give us a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell and the void anime. Ash. Joey Bra. Peace.